I'm ashamed of this fucking team and this fucking fan base. Ashamed. And all you fucking Eagles fans out there, you know which ones you are. Fucking turn in your fan card and get the fuck out. Yeah, Sam Bradford had two picks. One, he thought Matthews was going to break in and said he broke out and everything. Shit like that happens. Second one was just a bad throw. Look, both are on him, okay? Both are on him. Now, maybe the first one might have been on Matthews. I don't know the play call. I don't know what Matthews' job description was on that play, okay? But both were on Bradford. For sure one, but probably both of them. Not saying anything about that, okay? The Arizona Cardinals were the fifth ranked defense in the league, and Bradford threw up like 300 and some almost near close to 400 yards on him. We were in this game because of Bradford. And then I'm on the fucking Eagles message boards, and of course, of course, hell, Bradford wasn't even getting Bradford wasn't even getting love before his first interception. After a second reception, people are like, yeah, I can't, I don't blame, you know, what I say? Like, um, I'm going to laugh at whoever gives Bradford that money, blah, blah, blah. You know, really? Really, Philly? Really? Go on, EDP, talk your shit. Come on, Archfiend, talk your shit. Come on, everybody else, talk your shit. That's what Philadelphia does. I hate this fan base. If you're an Eagles fan, 10 to 1, I hate you. All you guys want to do is bitch and moan and complain. No wonder the rest of the world hates us. I'd hate us too. Okay, let Bradford go. Say he sucks. Let him go. Even though it looked like he was a fucking machine out there. He had two bad plays. I'm not going to sit here and say he's perfect, okay? But he looked pretty damn in control out there. Granted, yes, he had three turnovers. The fumble. Now, you can sit there and say that was somebody else's fault. I mean, Bradford's looking down and, you know, that shit happens. Bradford played good enough despite the score, 40-17. to 17. Could have been worse. Despite the score, Bradford did enough to make me believe, you know what? We can beat Washington and New York. He did enough to make me believe that. Now, we also could lose to Washington and New York because this defense is shit. And this team just wants to turn the ball over, apparently. I mean, let Bradford walk. Let Bradford walk. Who the fuck is going to be at quarterback? Sanchez? We're going to trade for RG3? Or, or are we going to get uh, Colin Kaepernick? Bradford can be a franchise quarterback. He can be a top guy. Maybe not like a Brady or a Rodgers. I'm not saying like that, but he can be a top guy. Give him some stability in an offense. Build around him, and he can do it. But nah. Leave it to Philadelphia to give up on someone like that. No wonder there's no fucking stability in this fucking team. Guy hasn't played in two years. Starts out really bad. I mean, new offense, and it starts out really bad. But then starts getting it going. It starts getting better and better and better and better. Oh, fuck it, he sucks. Let's get rid of him. Who's next? It doesn't work that way, Philly. Could have easily been 17-17 at halftime. And, but the wheels just started falling off towards the end. I don't like our running game. I don't like our. I don't like. I don't, I don't like our running backs. I don't like our offensive line. I don't. You know they can't run block for shit. Sometimes they're. They did okay at pass blocking today. They did okay at pass blocking. I have to give them credit for that. But usually pass blocking is up and down. Can't run block. Our running backs suck. Our receivers usually drop everything. Although they did, they did a better job tonight. <laughs> don't get me started on our defense. Run defense, garbage. Whoever said we had a good run defense, you're out of your mind. It's like the worst in the league. Pass defense, not great either. So what's the one thing on the team besides special teams that we can be like, hmm, Bradford. But you want to get rid of him. 
Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the fans. You guys are fucking idiots. Number one, and I would be the one to say it. I'll be the one to say it. Bradford is a franchise QB. Bradford is, can be, one of the top, I'm not going to say top ten, because there's only, I can say Bradford can be a top seven quarterback in this league, consistently. Build around him, give him some consistency, give him, I've had it with you Eagles fans. Anyway, um, I was pretty happy with the offense. I mean, like, I, I, I again, freaking two interceptions, that, that hurts. I mean, Bradford was out performing Palmer there for a while. Anyway, um, this defense. <laughs> I don't mind losing to the Cardinals. Now, I want the score to be closer. Um, this defense is atrocious. For one running back. One running back. One guy. It's one thing if our defense wasn't in position. And we were just, you know, like misdirections and whatever. That's whatever. But when our guys on running downs were in position, surrounding the running back on multiple plays, and the running back still gets all the way through, it's that's being outmanned. Our defense has no fucking, I hate to say this because it's like an African-American term, but th there's no dog in them at all. There's no... Our defense is soft. It's been soft for a long time. We haven't had a good defense since 2008 when we were third in the league. It's been that long. I'm just done. I'm, I'm done of these. I don't even know why we want to win the division. And this isn't me giving up because I honestly think we can beat the Washington Redskins. I honestly, and now. All the experts and everything, they'll sit there and say that the Redskins will win the division because they'll look at the standings and be like, well, the Redskins are, they'll win. Not thinking that we control our own destiny still, you know? <sighs> Fucking Christ. But, so this isn't me giving up because I, I think we can still win the division. But why? 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 Part of me is like, just, just lose out. Just lose out. Because I, I see Sam Bradford as the guy. Like, he can, we got something there. We need to improve the offensive line. Add, like, a legit receiver in free agency. That, that can actually scare teams. And then improve in the, everything else. Defense, defense, defense. Seriously, defense. You know, get an offensive line. Get get an offensive line man, and a receiver like Oshawn Jeffrey, whatever, in free agency. And then like draft heavy on fucking defense. We'll get Shepard back. He was supposed to be our nickel corner, promising nickel corner. We'll get him back next year. We just we'll get Hicks or uh, yeah Hicks back, who was. On rookie of the year pace before he got hurt, we'll get them back. Just, just go defense like crazy, you know. Um, and I think we got a shot. I think offensively, we're we're coming around, you know. And I think we can beat the Redskins and the Giants. I really do. You saw what Bradford did right now. I mean, he had almost 400 yards passing or anything against the fifth ranked defense. What do you think he can do against the Giants passing defense? Okay. And the Giants and Redskins, while they do have receiving threats, it's not like the Cardinals, you know? So, and we know them a little bit better, so you would think that we can... Oh, man. But to what degree? What's it going to do, you know? Bragging rights, that's cool. Bragging rights. People are still going to pick the Dallas Cowboys next year anyway to pick the division. If we're talking about bragging rights and to have hype going into the offseason and coming into the new year where analysts and experts are like, oh, it's the Eagles division, it's the Eagles division. No, it's not going to be that way. It's not going to be that way. The Cowboys are still going to get picked because Romo's back and everything else, even though 
I don't think they were just. I don't think just missing Rumble was their only problem. I think their team was not as good as what you think they are. But anyway, that's PW. Our defense is our biggest issue. I think our offense is coming around, but our defense is in shambles right now, and we lack a running game. No running game on offense, so we're very one-dimensional. And I'm to the point, and this is going to sound stupid, and this may discredit everything I've already said. I'm at the point to just throw it constantly. Just throw it every down. Every time we run the ball, it is seriously like a wasted down. It's like a wasted down. I'm to the point, you know what? Pass it every fucking time. Fuck this half to stay balanced thing. Fuck it. Do what works. Do what works. That's what logic is. But no, we run into the same football cliches. Gotta stay balanced. That's a cliche. Do what works. When finally teams are like, whoa, the Eagles are passing every down. Fuck it. Let's stay back. When that happens, then you start running it. I'd pass every down. I hope I hope Bradford has like 50-some attempts next week. Uh, seriously, it's like a wasted down every time we try to run the ball. I'm done. I'm, I wash my hands. I wash my hands with the damn the running game. I'm done. <laughs> Have Sam Bradford pass it all the time. You know, at least he'll get into rhythm early. Fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. Like I said, the result, you know, us losing isn't a surprise. I think we did more offensively, like at least Bradford did. Um, did more offensively than I, than I thought. We had like 400 and some yards of offense um, against a fifth-ranked defense. So offensively, outside of turning it over four times, um, we were doing our thing. <laughs> you know, we were doing our thing. But um, defensively, good God. I guess if you're a glass half-full type of guy, it's probably good that we got our teeth kicked in now before we these next two games because now you know it's 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 a heart check time you know and the week of practice will be more like okay we gotta fix what, we, what you know what i mean and so you know i mean if we win you could people could say well we just blew our load early you know we blew our load against redskin or against the cardinals and then we come out lackluster because we fell ourselves a little too much against the Redskins and we lose. You know what I mean? So that's the, the bright side is getting our teeth kicked in now. It's like, well, okay. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what to, you don't know which Giants team is going to come up. You don't know which Redskins team is going to play. And you sure as hell don't know which, which Eagles team is going to come out. Today, the Eagles team, as far as offense production-wise, Good job. That was impressive against a really good defense. But the caveat is you turn the ball over four times. Um, it was nice to see some explain. And Huff, Huff, man. Now, now I got to give Matthews the cre- most of the credit. He was great game for Matthews. But Huff showed some stuff. I mean, there's some quick, quick, quick strikes on on some slants and everything where it was just like bam. I was like damn, like. We look explosive. We look dangerous. Like, wow. <laughs> you know? Um, so there's something there that's being, that's starting to click together. And part of me is like, we're not going to go anywhere in the playoffs, so why, why have a worse draft pick? But then another part of me is like, but you know what? It would suck to start getting this offense going just to have a long offseason. You know, to have to get it going again. You know, I don't know. I'm starting to ramble now. Basically, we moved the ball up and down the field on a very tough defense. That surprised me. I didn't think we were going to be nearly that effective offensively. And you got to give Sam Brad, like, look, he had about 400. Hold up. We're going to find that right now. Because I keep saying about 400 yards. We're going to see exactly how many, how much yards it got. All right, 300, 361 yards of offense. 300, well, 361 yards passing. Um, two touchdowns. Did have two t- interceptions, though, and a fumble. So that's the, ugh, you know, but, um... 
did a lot better than I thought we were going to do. So offensively, it's like, you know, just had four miscues. Four miscues on the offensive side of the ball. You know, and uh, can't have that. I'm not even sure we would have won if, even if we didn't have those. But to have those, uh, I mean, we had, I'm going to see how much yard of offense we had. And blah, 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 blah. 424 yards of offense. So, against the fifth ranked defense. So, offensively, it was like, you know, you don't turn the balls over. We were doing our thing. You know, it's bad defense. And terrible defense. Terrible defense and turnovers on offense. That's those are the bads. The, so I should say, complete defense, terrible. Offense production-wise was really good, really good. Probably the best overall game from production-wise the offense has had. But the turnovers, you know. So all right, I'm 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 gone. Um, I'll do. A, I'll, I'll probably do a preview game of the Eagles and Redskins later but um initial thoughts is i don't know we, we could beat the redskins i i may predict us to beat the redskins i don't know yet i, I don't know um i don't know all right guys peace out